Hi friends, welcome to Medici YouTube channel and today I am discussing about the BARC notification and BARC released recently technical officer not grade C notification for the from the direct recruitment that means BE, BTEC students are directly recruited through the interview. So and one more inter one more vacancy is released by the BARC that is a training scheme for the diploma candidates. Okay, so we are going to see these two notifications in this video. Okay, uh, let us see the direct recruitment. So in this uh, direct recruitment, BARC is recruiting the three type of posts. One is technical officer, second is scientific assistant, third is technician. Out of these three, technical officer cadre is for the BE, BTEC candidates. Okay, those who are completed their degree in BE or BTEC, those who those only eligible for the technical officer. And in this technical officer grade C, there are 181 number of vacancies. Okay, and this is the group A and level 10 pay scale. Okay, and next you are in hand salary while you are joining and in hand salary you are receiving 56,100. And this is for the technical officer. Though there are other two posts available, but I am discussing only for the technical officer cadre. Why? Because the BE, BTEC students are eligible for this post only. Okay. Okay. So these are the lower grade post. Next, I told you BARC is recruiting one more uh, recruitment that is training scheme. This is the stipendary training. That means they are taking the diploma candidates for the two years and they are paying year by year stipend basis. That means there are two category of uh, student uh, post available here that is category 1 and category 2 and this category 1 is for the diploma candidates okay this is eligible to see here number of vacancies 1216 vacancies are there and there are two years training period is there that is first year you are going to receive 24000 per month salary and second year you are going to receive 26000 in hand salary per month Okay, so this is the category one, category one training scheme. That means you are receiving the stipend per month, per month basis. Okay, next we see the technical officer. I told you now, uh, technical officer category is for the BE, BTEC especially. So here we can see the category wise allocation of post. That is chemical engineering. From chemical engineering, there are 20 number of vacancies. And from civil engineering, there are 20 again. Next, computer science, there are 12 number of vacancies and electrical branch, there are 23 number of vacancies and the electronics branch, 15 number of vacancies and instrumentation, you have 8 number of vacancies and finally the mechanical branch, there are 44 number of vacancies. And for all these category posts, you are supposed to be have 60 percent degree, that is aggregate percentage should be 60 percent in your BE or BTEC degree. That means you must have the degree in BE, BTEC with minimum 60% aggregate in marks. And these are the category wise post allocation and there are unreserved EWS and whatever the age relaxation all these things we are going to discuss. And these are the category wise allocation, branch wise allocation of post. Next training scheme. In this also there is category wise posts are allocated. That means see in this discipline, chemical discipline there are 171 number of vacancies. And in civil 62 number computer science 25, electrical 144, electronics 98, instrumentation 59 and mechanical there are 328 number of vacancies are there and for this you must have degree or diploma ok. So they are mentioned like this degree or diploma with minimum 60 percent aggregate marks in your diploma and the disciplines is also mentioned here and one more important uh, issue I want to discuss here Com going back to the previous slide. See in this instrumentation branch and in electronics branch, there are sub branch also available. That means in electronics, if you see electrical, uh, electrical and electronics branch, electronics engineering, electronics and telecommunication engineering, these are the sub branch and these branches are also eligible for this technical officer post. Similarly, in instrumentation, there is instrumentation and control engineering, instrumentation engineering, instrumentation electrical and instrumentation engineering, and these type of various sub branches is also eligible for this technical officer. Okay, same thing is also applicable here. The sub branch in electrical, electronics and uh, instrumentation is also eligible here. Okay, next while coming to the eligibility criteria, see here there are uh, two types I think direct recruitment and training scheme. In this direct recruitment, the student must have 18 to 35 years of age. That means he is, uh, 
here it is also particularly mentioned that the candidate must have been born not earlier than 23-5-1988 and not later than 22-5-2005. Okay. So, you need to meet these dates and this age requirement for the direct recruitment that is technical officer grade C post. And next coming to this training scheme and you must have candidate must have 19 to 24 years of age. That means here also mention the dates you know the should not born be before 23-5-1999 and not later 22-5-2004. Okay. So, this age should be meeting for the applying of this particular post. Next age reduction is also applicable according to the government norms that is you know the OBC, SC, ST, JOB categories and those people also receive the relaxation, age relaxation from the government norms. Next here the application uh, submission date, it is uh, directly given that you know online application submission date is 24, 24 for 2023 that means 24th April is the online application opening date and the closing date is 22 5 that is 22 May is the closing date for the online application of the submission. Next we can see selection method. So, what is the selection process? Now, this is important. So, though it is a direct recruitment, though it is a direct recruitment for the technical officer, see, either uh, the, and this is the first point it is mentioned, the selection will be based on the performance in interview. Okay, this is the first criteria. That means, if the number of applications are limited, the BARC is supposed to conduct only interviews. So, candidates are recruited through the interview only. But here it is also mentioned that, the response is more that means number of applications are more conducting computer based test screening test ok. So, BARC is supposed to conduct the computer based screening test if the number of applications are more ok. It is also mentioned that concern discipline on all India basis that means suppose in mechanical engineering the number of applications are more. So, BARC will conduct screening test for particular mechanical branch only. If all branches in all branches number of applications are more. So, it is going to conduct computer based test for all branches that is that is what is uh, the second point says ok. So, next coming to the category 1 stipendary train, training here this is also same thing ok. So, here the computer based screening test is there ok there is no direct recruitment for this one ok computer based screening test is there that is 1 hour duration and will comprise 40 multiple choice questions ok that means 40 number of questions. 40 number of questions and 1 hour duration, 1 hour duration is there. This is the computer based test, this is screening test it is conducted. Next syllabus you know, syllabus is diploma level syllabus. I told you know screening uh, this uh, category 1 stipendary training is mainly diploma focused, diploma students ok, they focusing on diploma students. So, the syllabus is also diploma level though it is accepted the degree, but the exam syllabus is diploma level only. And here it is mentioned that one third negative that here also mentioned one question is equal to three marks. This is mentioned in the notification here one third negative is also applicable here. So, out of this 40 marks one third negative is also applicable. Next final selection will be on the basis of per performance of the candidate in interview ok. So, that means after CBT you you are supposed to appear for the interview. So, candidates are shortlisted based on your performance in the CBT and you are finally called for the interview ok. So, on the interview, win interview, so this, this is the main area, the interview is the only selection area for you ok. There is here a particularly mentioned, this. see here no weightage will be given for marks scored in screening test, this is important. So, though you are even you are uh, correcting 40 out of 40 questions correctly in the exam that is of no use. That means, there is this weightage is not considered here. So, only the final interview will matters whether you are getting job or not that will be decided by the final interview only ok. This is the selection method for the direct recruitment of a technical officer and this category 1 stipendary training ok. So, if you want to go for further information regarding the uh, the subject wise what, what, are, what are the uh, subjects are mentioned in for the your syllabus and the, what are the vacancies for the other branches and who which, which students some students are doing BSc and they come back for the engineering and all and those students is also eligible for some of the uh, categories ok. For more information please uh, go through this website ok barkonlineexam.com and you, you found this uh, link in made easy description box 
okay so you go through this uh, website and found the notification for the more information about your notification well friends uh, please subscribe the made is youtube channel thank you very much for watching this video thank you guys for more such informative content subscribe to the made easy youtube channel and press the bell icon to make sure that you never miss an important update